Three watches, number 44. Wherefore, the Lord commandeth you, when ye shall see these things come among you, that ye shall awake to a sense of your awful situation. End of quote. We're currently in the ten-day period called the Days of Awe. It began with the Jewish New Year called Rosh Hashanah, which began in the new moon and will end on Yom Kippur, which is the Day of Atonement. As crazy as Monday was in the markets, I would not be surprised to see greater turmoil leading up to the Day of Atonement. Is it a coincidence that our nation is in awe at what our leaders have allowed to take place with the current financial crisis? Should we not all be in awe at what was proposed solution for this financial crisis? Recently, I've had many thoughts about greed, capitalism, fiat money, the love of money, secret combinations, etc. By the way, here's a thought-provoking article entitled, The Root Cause of the Current Financial Monetary Crisis and Its Solution. Years ago, I went to a series of firesides given by an elderly gentleman regarding the prophecies at the end times. He kept saying that he was expecting a constitutional crisis, but he never really gave a specific scripture to validate why he thought that our nation would experience a constitutional crisis. I assumed he was making reference to the prophecy given by Joseph Smith that one day the Constitution would hang by a thread just prior to God's servant rushing in to save the day. We certainly are experiencing a constitutional crisis, which also happens to be interrelated with a global financial crisis. Although the current financial constitutional crisis has been years in the making, I think we may be at the apex or tipping point. As I have stated in several previous posts, several prophetic timelines indicate that 2008-2009 is the time when our nation hits a point when we are ripe and ready for destruction while the elect are gathered out. Obviously, <laughs> we're at 2017, and it's hopefully about to happen. I'm going to suggest that what our nation is currently experiencing was spoken of in the Book of Mormon. Quote, And whatsoever nation shall uphold such secret combinations to get power and gain, until they shall spread over the nation, behold, they shall be destroyed. For the Lord will not suffer that the blood of his saints, which shall be shed by them, shall always cry unto him from the ground for vengeance upon them, and yet he avenge them not. Wherefore, O ye Gentiles, it is wisdom in God, that these things should be shown unto you, that thereby ye may repent of your sins, and suffer not that these murderous combinations shall get above you, which are built up to get power and gain, and the work, yea, even the work of destruction come upon you, Yea, even the sword of justice of the eternal God shall fall upon you, to your overthrow and destruction, if you shall suffer these things to be. Wherefore the Lord commandeth you, when you shall see these things come among you, that you shall awake to a sense of your awful situation, because of this secret combination which shall be among you. Or woe be unto it, because of the blood of them who have been slain. For they cry from the dust for vengeance upon it, and also upon those who build it up. For it cometh to pass that whoso buildeth it up seeketh to overthrow the freedom of all lands, nations, and countries, and it bringeth to pass the destruction of all people, for it's built up by the devil, who is the father of all lies, even the same liar who beguiled our first parents, yea, even that same liar who hath caused man to commit murder from the beginning, who hath hardened the hearts of men, that they have murdered the prophets, and stoned them, and cast them out from the beginning. Wherefore I, Moroni, I am commanded to write these things, that evil may be done away, and that the time may come that Satan may have no power upon the hearts of the children of men, but that they may be persuaded to do good continually, that they may come into the fountain of all righteousness and be saved. End of quote. That's Ether 8. Did you catch that God literally gives the Gentiles a specific commandment, something they must do at a specific time when a specific event takes place? Quote, Wherefore the Lord commandeth you, when ye shall see these things come among you, that ye shall awake to a sense of your awful situation. End of quote. Rosh Hashanah, also called Yom Hazakaran, Day of Remembrance, and Yom Teruah, Day of Awakening, I think we're witnessing the fulfillment of prophecy right now. When the first vote rejected the proposed plan, I was a little surprised. I didn't think very many of our corrupt politicians would reject the package being offered by the secret combination. 
I have no predictions for what will happen at this point. I don't, need, I don't know if some sort of package offered by the secret combination will be accepted. I do, however, think that God has warned us to awake to the sense of our awful situation at this time. This prophecy is one of the many key indications of the signs of the times and what is happening just at the time when the marvelous work in a wonder is about to be ushered in. Rosh Hashanah, literally head of the year in Hebrew, biblical, uh, let's see, in Yiddish, it's a Jewish holiday, commonly referred to as the Jewish New Year. It is observed on the first day of Tishri, the seventh month of the Hebrew calendar as ordained in the Torah. In Leviticus 23:24, what Rosh Hashanah is the first of the high holidays or Yamim Noraim, days of awe, or Aseret Yimai Teshuva, the 10 days of repentance, which are days specifically set aside to focus on repentance that conclude with the holiday of Yom Kippur. Rosh Hashanah is the start of the civil year in the Hebrew calendar, one of new four New Year observances that define various legal years for different purposes. It is the new year for people, animals, and legal contracts. The Mishnah also sets this day aside as the new year for calculating calendar years and sabbatical and jubilee years. Rosh Hashanah commemorates the creation of man, whereas five days earlier, on the 25th of Elul, marks the first day of creation. Uh, the Mishnah, the core text of Judaism's oral Torah, contains the first known reference to Rosh Hashanah as the Day of Judgment, and the Talmud, Talmud tractate on Rosh Hashanah, it states that three books on the count are open on Rosh Hashanah where the fate of the wicked, the righteous, and those of an intermediate class are recorded. The names of the righteous are immediately inscribed in the book of life, and they are sealed to live. The middle class are allowed a respite for ten days until Yom Kippur to repent and become righteous. The wicked are blotted out of the book of the living, or in other words, are sent to the book of death.